with the Tamiya Grand Aura. Now, I started a video a couple of weeks ago um, making some bits for it, and then I've been ill for the last week, so I haven't really done anything other than painting bits of tank and stuff like that. But also, in the meantime, um, obviously, I was waiting on a few bits, so stuff's turned up, which is fantastic. I'm going to jump <laughs> to the point of the video last week, the week before, when I started making some bits for this. So I can kind of give you an idea of how I've done that and what I'm going to do. And then you might be able to recreate them yourselves. And I do believe there'll be a nice little finishing touch once they're finished. But we'll get to that in a moment. We'll cut to that. So it will all make sense in a moment. So my plan here is to make like an extension on the bottom of the sleeper around here. I were going to use another King Cola cab and cut the bottom off, but I've um, found the original roof cap that I cut off the Grand Hauler. So I've just took a scriber and scribed around where I want my cut at the minute, and then we're going to cut these sections off, and I'm just going to like rest them in place against the bottom here to make like a more lower profile looking sleeper. Yeah, I think it should look good. So I'm going to saw this off now and then we can experiment. So I've got the cuts there where I want them at the minute and this curved line around there I am going to have to like just keep scribing at that until it just snaps apart gives you kind of an idea of um, what I'm doing. I just chucked in the photos there so you could see. Um, I do have a, another roof cap somewhere. What I could show you on, but I'm just unsure where it is at the minute. I have the one which I cut off rusty, um, which I possibly am going to be using on the next Grand Ola build and making an extended sleeper because this current one, literally everything has been swapped out and um, Dave has a complete Grand Hauler cab for me. So I can basically rebuild that Grand Hauler using all the standard kit stuff. So who knows, we'll do something fun and funky. Let's give me five fecking rabbits. Much, much, much later. Six and a half hours later. You've got a shoe under car, babe. <laughs> so, yeah, these are little sleeper side skirt extensions. I know in the last photo there, you seen the truck and it was all in the yellow prime and everything. I've since flattened that back down, primed it, flattened it again. I am just trying to pick out any slight blemish or marks or indentations, pinpricks in the filler. I'm trying to find a lot. Then this is totally 100% smooth. These little uh, sleeper extensions, we'll take a closer look at these and then you'll get an idea of what I mean. So these were the little bits that I had cut off. Um, obviously they've been filler primed and everything. I'd just give them like the same treatment as these. These are just cut to fit actually underneath the sleeper at the moment. So if we just put the sleeper on its side there. They still need cleaning up. And uh, more like I say, are going to need profiling to the tanks. But I don't want to start hacking at these until I'm set on what tanks I'm going to be running under the sleeper. Because I don't want to profile it and then end up with a big gap. Or it's too small and then have to 
take it all apart and do it again. So once I'm set on my tanks, I will then know how I'm profiling it. Because some tanks actually do just sit in between there, but the standard grand hauler tank, which I am thinking of using and painting to colour coordinate to the body, as you can see, they are actually the same width as the sleeper. So like I say, it's going to need the roundness of the tank. And then that can sit down over the tank flush. But I only want like a mil, two mil gap at the most. I want that sitting flush with those tanks. These will then just put like a brace in, bit of plastic hard around the backs. And then as I've done with the roof, I'll stick those to that and then just fill it all in and smooth them in so they look as one. But there you can kind of see how they sit underneath. It is taken from the roof cap so it is an exact same fit and they're perfect. And should you wish to run lights down the side there's nothing stopping you drilling some little holes and maybe putting some bezels in with some LEDs behind. That's all down to your choice, but they are a nice, simple, like, custom touch. Basically recycling what you've already cut off. If you're making a custom truck and you've got an alternate roof cap and you've had to cut the original roof off, then that's just awesome. So this is basically what this is, just recycling the roof. And... The photographs in the thing didn't really do it justice because they were a different colour. And uh, now it's all primed. But you can kind of see the look I'm going for. So until I've made up my mind on the tanks I'm using. I'm just going to leave them as they are. I'm not going to fit them or anything. But I just thought it's a cool thing to show you. Maybe have a go yourself. And in the next one, I am actually going to get the roof cap installed. I had marked it all out to put the lights in. I said I was going to roll it with a king all the lights right along. But you know what? Sometimes less is more. Now, I'm going to show you a couple of the bits. Um, you might have noticed I had replaced my grill. Now, there's various Kenworth W900s out there, as you know. So, to save... Cutting the bonnet off and getting like a W900B bonnet. I'd found this. It's just a Chinesium grill in all honesty. Um, eBay job. Just from Chinesium metal. But still looks the part. But it's profiled to the King Hauler Grand Hauler. Which is more the W900A. Now I do believe the W900A had round headlights. But... With this, I'm going to be keeping those and going for the dual square lamps up in the front. But it's a custom truck, so I can get away with it. My plastic servo mount, I found a pair of lesser ones which I had. So I can finally get rid of that bit of plastic and reuse them in the next build. Uh, fished out my RC four-wheel drive angled rod ends uh, to get a better steering lock because it's going to need that. We've got the air cleaners there from Lesu with the light bezels and deleted the air pipe. Uh, I think they look better. The Lesu planetary gearbox, I cannot rate these enough. I, I love them. And also, we have another GPM, like the rear suspension cross brace. I have a black one on mine, and because of the paint job, and I'm keeping all my aluminum upgrades in the aluminium like standard colour the black just didn't flow at the back end so source myself another GPM one of those and I can use the other in another build so that's basically where I'm at with this at the moment so like I say I'll uh, do another video and we'll install this separately then we're not confusing everything but yeah this is more just like an update and Basically, how to recycle some of your own old parts and just get creative and make some cool stuff. So those are the uh, sleeper extensions. You'll see them in another video when they're uh, looking a little more complete. 
So I'll have a go. But for now, I'm going to um, leave you there. And I'll catch you in the next one. And we're going to get this installed and filled and everything else. So thanks for tuning in, guys. Oops. Yeah. <laughs> thanks again for tuning in. And I shall see you all in the next video. So don't forget to hit that like button, share, comment, subscribe if you're not already. And hit the notification bell to stay notified. And if it's not a video of any interest, ignore it. Ciao for now guys.